Welcome to the Armada EW podcast with your host Tom Withington at the controls. As the electromagnetic spectrum becomes more congested and contested, so the EW practitioner's work increases. Human factors play a key role in electronic warfare, but how do we empower our practitioners to meet today's and tomorrow's challenges? With me today to discuss this is Dave Devine and Phil Guy of Millori Solutions. Dave is Malory's general manager and Phil is the MD. And a very warm welcome to you both. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Good to be. Good, Good to see you. So now, Dave, Phil, um, you have both been EW practitioners. And I wanted to ask you how different are things now compared to your day? Well, Tom, certainly, as you've mentioned in your intro, the electromagnetic spectrum has become congested, as you know. And what was really relatively easy for the military to operate and manoeuvre within that spectrum is now really contested. But not only contested from a, a red force perspective, but also from the white force using it in the commercial world. Obviously, you've seen things like the 2G, 4G, 5G and LTE take up massive areas of the spectrum, which we now have to, well, we're a bit of a poor position to be able to operate in the military. So we've got to fight for it. And um, Phil, anything you want to come in on with that? I think, um, as Dave has said, um, I think stress levels now um, are, are uh, it's never the military side of things is always uh, stressful, but I think with the added complexities of the spectrum, and um, as we say now, everybody should be spectrum aware. Uh, this isn't just about EW practitioners now, but everybody has to have a sense of the spectrum. Um, but the actual stress levels on an operator um, is is such that, um, there is so much more data that has to be sifted through. And uh, with that, um, well, the, the difficulties of, of making the right decisions in a timely manner uh, become all that more important. Now, I know this is something that we've both spoken about in the past at the various events where we've run into each other, um, that kind of thing. And we, we've talked in the past about empowering EW practitioners. From your perspectives, what does that actually entail? When we first started off as operators so 20, 30 years ago, uh, life was relatively simple for us. We operated predominantly in the VHF, UHF and HF spectrum, primarily the HF as well. Um, that made life reasonably easy for us. And the way we were trained was definitely the way we should have carried, conducted our business. But as the systems and the waveforms has have now got a lot more complex, it makes life a lot harder for the operator. So we now have to look at new ways in which to train that operator, which we're doing reasonably well at this stage. But due to the amount of data that they have to deal with just visually and mentally, it makes it quite tough. Um, so that's really would be my first point. Anything from your side, Phil, with that? From a maritime perspective, when we started um, um, 40, 50 years ago, um, the equipment was quite rudimentary and it was in its infancy. Um, that allowed operators to come in uh, and um, prosecute things, but also learn on the job to be able to to build understanding of the spectrum that was again in its infancy. I mean, we 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 used it and we could move maneuver within it quite freely. Um, today, the equipment is far more complicated to use. It's digital in nature, um, and a lot more information is being presented to operators at the same time. And not just that information, but uh, historical library data information is presented. Other key sources of information are presented at the same time as well, uh, which means the training of an operator, what an operator used to see uh, and how they used to go through the, the um, I suppose, culling of what they think was real, what they think was a, uh, was a priority to prosecute and what they think was, was uh, just a, a normal um, piece of um, uh, uh, information. Um, is now very different. And so now, of course, the information has to be clearer and it has to be impactful and it has to allow an operator to make meaningful decisions at the correct time to obviously the command teams to be able to uh, make the right decisions. So to round off with, as we look towards the future, what challenges do you feel practitioners face? And I suppose most importantly, how can these be overcome? 
I think uh, it's just the amount of information that's put in front of an operator now at the moment with these particular systems. Obviously, software-defined radios has changed the world that we work and operate in. Because before, we would use libraries to compare something that you knew about based on bandwidth, load speed, that sort of the technical nature. But now, of course, with these modern radar, modern systems, they can change those in a heartbeat. So you're not necessarily matching them to libraries that you could fully depend on before. So it really does require you as an operator to have the information presented to you on a screen, not just a bar graph or a heat map, but nowadays really something that links it to potentially a picture of an SA, whatever type system. So you can see it visually like you would in the real business intelligence world where they've started using graphs and they've started to use proper images. So you say it's such and such a device and a bit pops and it gives you a, a mental and a cue to it. So that's one of the ways I'd look to do it. And for yourself, Phil? I would echo that. I think um, the days of polar plots, um, frequency versus um, bearing and, and the standard sort of formats that you would present information um, has got limited um, capability now. Um, the fused information that's going to come in, the uh, techniques that are looking uh, to, to use in an active sense, uh, all have to be fused now into easy digestible information which is easy for not just an EW practitioner, but also a command team, a higher officer uh, that is able to understand what they're seeing as well, because that's what it's going to be. The more visual it is, the more easily un um, that it can be uh, understood is, is going to make the difference between making the right decision and being bogged down in complicated data that is difficult to actually understand. Well, Dave, Phil, it's always a great pleasure catching up with you both and hearing your perspectives and your input. So thank you very much for joining us. Great, be great fun. Thanks again. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, thanks to your listeners. And uh, don't forget, if you'd like to find out more about Malori Solutions, you can visit their website at malori.com.au. And don't forget that there's more EW news and analysis at armadainternational.com slash electronic hyphen warfare. That's all we've got time for. Thanks for listening. Uh,